So, Tri Brigade is basically just the new Alistair. It has been really playable basically since its release. I think it didn't see play for like maybe a couple months immediately after its release just because people need to figure out what to do with it, but it's just a really capable deck. But what if it made synchros? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is your boy, Pay8. I'm feeling great. And I'm coming at you with another spicy deck profile. So, um, Scarecrow Tri Brigade. This is a deck I really did not even intend on building. I just noticed the Scarepaw cards, like the quote-unquote expensive ones, were pretty cheap. And I'm always happy to just mess around with different decks, just to see what I like. And I'm actually really enjoying this one. Um, it has the capacity to also do things that no other Tri Brigade variant can realistically do, or at least it does them in a way that's a lot less bricky. Talking about like the Luna Light build, for example, because I know that went around when Tiger came back. But uh, they're basically just all extenders for a deck that really just kind of wants extenders, and I think it's just pretty good. Um, before we get into it, I uh, just want to say that this is still a bit of a work in progress. I just kind of want to get something out, because um, the Punk profile update I uploaded did really well. Um, it got me a decent bit of growth, so I just want to say thank you all for that. Um, and... I just wanted to get something out there. Uh, this is something that I might uh, come back and revisit maybe in just a couple weeks or a month or something like that, just because I really enjoy this deck, but I feel like it could be optimized a little bit more. So these ratios are not final, but I have a decent idea of what I like. So starting off with the Tri Brigades, uh, if you aren't familiar, I'm gonna keep it really short and really sweet because they've been around forever and have been playable almost their entire lifespan. Um, so they all have the same effect on field to banish any number of beast, beast warrior, or wing beasts from here on out being called tri-types to summon a link monster that is a tri-type from your extra deck with the same link rating as the number of monsters you banished. A real simple, straightforward strategy, but it's just powerful. That's why it was good for so long. So, um, and they all have one extra effect, uh, but we'll get to that when we talk about them. So for the monsters, it's kind of standard three fractal, two Nerval, two Kit, and two Keras. Oh, we play three Fractal because he's the best one. Uh, if he's in hand uh, or on field, you can just send him from either place to the grave to send a little or lower tri type from deck to grave. Really, really good. Typically you're sending Kit because Kit on send from anywhere to grave sends another tri Brigade from deck to grave. And then Nerval on being sent from anywhere adds a tri Brigade monster. Um, and then Keras is kind of like the, um, kind of like Long Wan. Uh, he discards a tri-type for cost to special summon himself. Um, and importantly, they all have the restriction when you use their banishing to summon a link monster effect that you can only use beast, beast warrior, and wing beast type monsters as link material for that turn. That does not restrict other summoning mechanics. So it's almost no downside, which is kind of crazy. Um, they historically didn't really have a lot of non-Link monsters in the extra deck because there's no tuners and they're all different levels except for these two, they're both level two. But um, we've changed that a little bit. So that's it for the Tri Brigades. Uh, this is one of the things that's still a little bit of a work in progress. Can't decide between two and three Nerval, but two has been fine. So for the Scare Claws, uh, three Rykart, two Astra, one Balone, and one Acro. So we'll start with the common ones first. These are all basically the same card. Uh, all of them, including Rykart, have the effect to special summon themselves from hand to your main monster zone, either adjacent to a Scarecrow monster you control or in its column. So if you have something in the extra monster zone, you summon it below it. Um, and then Acro, Balone, and Astra all have a uh, bonus effect, if you will. It just uh, modulates uh, usually like attack characteristics of your uh, Scarecrow monsters in the EMZ. So Acro gives your Scarecrow monsters in the extra monster zone 300 attack for each defense position monster you control. Uh, Balone uh, gives the extra monster zone monster piercing. And Astra lets your Scarecrow in the extra monster zone, they all specify Scarecrow for that effect, by the way. Uh, so then this one says, uh, your Scareclaw monsters in the extra monster zone can attack a number of times each battle phase up to the number of defense positions and Scareclaw monsters you control with different names. 
So Balone makes it, I'm sorry, Acro makes him big, Balone gives him piercing, Astra says attack multiple times. Really simple stuff. Uh, we just play a uh, multitude of the names just because we want multiple specials if all we draw is Scareclaw. Um, and they're just fine. They all extend, which is pretty cool. And then Reichhardt is the best one. Uh, so he also has the special summon effect. And if he's normal or special summoned, I can add a Scareclaw Speller Trap from deck to hand. Then if three or more defense position monsters are on the field, you can draw one card. So he's sometimes just engaged, which is really, really good. Um, also, he's a level 4 warrior, which makes him highly accessible, and his level is just really advantageous for some things in the extra deck. Uh, but we are also not really stopping with the Scare Claws. We're playing two copies of Vsauce Starfrost, uh, because this is a level 6 tuner that can summon itself um, by targeting a monster you control with a different type and attribute from this card, and destroying it, and then obviously special itself. And he's a light warrior, so the only thing in deck that you can't target is Rykart, which is completely fine. Um, he's only okay, but him being a tuner opens up a lot of possibilities. Him being a tuner that summons himself, actually. Uh, just opens up a lot of new lines of play for this deck that it didn't really have before. Uh, so that's cool. We only play two just because if we're drawing Scare Claws, we'd prefer to draw either Starfrost or Rykart. We want to draw at least one of them, uh, because then we can get to the field spell and search the other one, but we will get to that momentarily. Uh, and then the best Scareclaw card is 3 Rescue Cat, because I didn't mention that all of the little ones, uh, so not Rykart and not Starfrost, so Ast uh, Astra, Balone, and Acro, are all beasts. So Rescue Cat, with one card in hand to put back on bottom for Bear Brum, is full combo. It's actually pretty good. Um, I know that this loses to hand traps, but it's just so good if it goes off. I feel like you kind of have to play it. I don't know. I'm back and forth on this card. I think next format it might get a little bit worse. But right now we're still in format where not a lot of people are playing a lot of hand traps. So take advantage of it while you can. Uh, and then because we're in tier format, we're going to be playing this deals. Three Magma, one Jurus Worm. This is just standard stuff for almost every deck that's not like Flunder at this point. So for the spell cards, we have three Primitive Planet Reich Phobia. So this is, um, to make it real simple, it's basically just a Scareclaw-oriented tier limits field spell. So on activation, as a Scareclaw or Visa Starfrost from deck to hand, uh, monsters opponent controls lose 100 attack events for each defense position monster on the field. That's both fields, not just mine. So sometimes they can just be losing like three or 400 attack for no reason, which is pretty relevant sometimes. It's okay, it's not as good as the tier elements just gain 5 for free, but it's still fine. And then if 3 or more defense position monsters are on the field, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Um, it's... The removal is pretty good, the deck is decent at spamming out monsters in defense, the Bestials actually play into that really well as well, because a Magma puts two monsters on board, and if your opponent has one, this is a free pop. Um, but because it's so searchable in the deck, we don't play terraforming with this. I was testing with that at first, and you don't really want to lead with planet. You want to use Planet to get whatever you don't have, as long as you have something. Really good card, but drawing it on its own is just kind of so-so. Uh, then we play One Arrival. Um, this is just Reborn in defense position for a Scareclaw or Vsauce in Grave. Uh, so it's, Reborn's always good, uh, helps you extend. Uh, and then if a Scareclaw Link Monster you control, you destroy a battle card of deck, you can banish this card from Grave instead. So that's pretty nice. Also notably, the Reborn effect is not once per turn at all, and the protection effect is once per turn. So if you were playing like more Scare Claws on like a smaller tri package, you could bump this up to two or three and it'd be fine. It's a really good card, I just play it as a one of just because it's a search target. Uh, rest of spells, three tanky because it searches Fractal, and that's engine. Uh, two tactics, just because it's pretty good this format. Um, this is one of the flex spots in the main deck. I think when um, Hypernova comes out and we get Cash Tira, this uh, will be replaced by like Effect Failure or something because you really need hand traps to stop Cash from just locking you out entirely. Uh, and then one Rota because it searches Rykart. Um, nothing super crazy there going into the trap cards. We do play a couple of them. So we play one Revolt and one Twin Saw. Uh, Revolt. Uh, just summons any number of your beast, beast warrior, and wing beast monsters that are banished during grave, but it gets their vex and then links them off into a tri brigade. Um, this is kind of the payoff for tri brigade if you aren't familiar with it. 
Uh, it's really, really good. I was playing two for a while just because I didn't like the idea of randomly having one, uh, if I was just playing one, just having it get milled from like a, um, like a Kelbeck or something. Um, but I guess I'm just gonna take that risk because uh, drawing it's only fine. Uh, and then Twin Saw actually is really good. So this is a new, not, a, I say new card. It came, it came out in Dark Wind Blast. So you tribute a Scareclaw monster, then target two cards of your own controls and destroy them. And if you do, if you control Vsauce Starfrost, you banish those destroyed cards instead of sending from the graveyard. So this is just Blackout that sometimes banishes everything, which is really good, but it doesn't even stop there. So if a Link 3 or higher monster is on the field, you can banish this card from Grave, and then for the rest of the turn, neither player can activate the effects of Link monsters on the field. Um, this is really relevant because Tri-Brigade is almost always ending on a Link 3 or higher monster. And against Tier Element, one of the most frustrating things is that they use most of their hand to play into your board, and then they just have a Dark and a monster, make Dark, Dark summon back one of your Darks, and then they make Sprint to send Merly, and then they just combo that way. This turns that line off, which is pretty decent. It's not like it's not an irrelevant effect at all. And against Sprite, it's really good as well, just denying them one elf activation, because that can put them behind. Because this, in the end, the deck's aggressive, but it still plays the the uh, the grind game really well. And just being able to get your opponent's tempo off by just that one turn if they're reliant on link effects is pretty nice. Um, so it's just important to remember that this card has this. Uh, and then three Imperm because I greatly enjoy negating Hitkalos. Um, tier opponents don't deserve to combo. <laughs> but um, yeah, that is the main deck. 40 in the main. Uh, you kind of want to keep it tight because there's cards you want to draw. Uh, in the extra deck, so we play two Lightheart and one Triheart for the Scareclaws. Uh, Lightheart on... For its Link Summon, uh, you can only use monsters in the main monster zone as material, so it takes a Scareclaw or a Starfrost, which is relevant because Starfrost alone can get to Scareclaw Engine, which is pretty cool. Well, not alone, you need a monster, but that's super easy to do. Um, and then if this card is Link Summon and EMZ, you can add a, you just add Planet from deck to hand, which is pretty cool. Um, and then if you control Starfrost, you can special from Grave. That second effect is once per duel, but the effect to search a field spell is not once per turn at all. We don't really abuse that, but if it gets like, Imperm and your board just gets wiped and you have the extender, you can just make another one and activate its effect again. So it's important to remember that's just not one per turn at all, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then Triheart is kind of like the big daddy of the, um, the Scareclaw guys. So he takes three effect monsters, so he's actually generic, which is pretty cool. Uh, so he must be Link Summoned. All face-up monsters on the field are changed to defense, and he's unaffected by the activated effects of defense position monsters. So this is like not the hardest thing in the world to get rid of, but some decks just kind of have an issue with that. Um, and then once per turn, if this card's in the extra monster zone, you can target a level three Scareclaw in Grave, special it, and if you do that, a Scareclaw monster from deck to hand, but then you can't summon for this to turn except Scareclaws. Uh, you can't special summon, which might as well be summoned. But um, that's pretty good. I mean, it gets you another right card. If all you have is just a bunch of Scareclaw cards, you basically get to set up this, one of your free bodies, and then the uh, pop two with a uh, right card for next turn. It's not bad. Like, it's a, it helps you go for OTKs. We're not playing access code in this list. Um, there's four flex spots that we'll get to, but I just really, really like Tryhard. I was kind of experimenting with it first, but this card's kind of solid. Like, it's just a decent card all around. Uh, so that's it for the Scare Claws. For the Tri Brigades, it's really standard. One Bear Brum, one Fair Jeep, one Rugal, double Shurag, you absolutely need two. Um, just really, really good cards. Uh, Rugal, actually I lied, Rugal sucks, but we don't have a generic, uh, tri-type Link 3 that we can make. Like, just Link Summoning, which is so sad. We really need something like that because this card is so bad. Uh, one Dragon Lords, uh, one Ray, just the toolbox cards for tri Brigade. Ray is really, really good this format. Um, just shuffling back to your names is really, really nice. And then Apollosa is a part of almost every single end board. The deck just super consistently makes Apo revolt. That was kind of like the, um, the bread and butter equivalent of the tri combo, but we wanted to go a little bit further. So all the Scareclaw cards that we've talked about so far have been in service to these four flex spots. Um, Rykart being a level four and Starfrost being a level six tuner enables us to both make rank fours, synchro eights, and synchro tens. So, because they're so good this format, we're playing one Dweller, one Baguska, 
one Borlode Savage, and one Baron de Fleur. We have good cards to make in Tri Brigade now that isn't Shurag, which is kind of crazy. Um, Barone and Dweller are, I would argue, the two non-flex spots, but these two are a little bit more of a toss-up. Um, your flu matchup, this isn't like, um, Miros Tri Brigade, where your flu matchup is actually really easy. It's kind of weird in a way. You still have, like, Dragon Lords to clear that stuff, and, uh, a, a big Doom Eagle is kind of hard for them to deal with, because they're never putting monsters in Grave. But... I think Baguska is still worth including, so Savage just kind of becomes another flex spot, but being able to, with a Vsauce and then any Tri Brigade that's not Nerval, access some kind of negate in the extra deck, I think is really good. Uh, Barone especially is just unreal in this deck because Apo, Revolt, and Barone is a lot better than just Apo, Revolt. Um, but the de fact that this deck can make these cards now is actually just kind of insane. So that is it for the profile. Let's do some combos because this deck does some really cool stuff. Alrighty, welcome to the combo tutorial and test hands portion of the video. So we're gonna start with the, uh, the high roll combo, uh, which is just rescue cat with another card. Uh, the rest of the test hands will be actual test hands, but I just wanted to show you what happens when you draw a cat because this is the one card combo that just gets to everything. So we're going to normal summon our cat and activate cat effect. Um, so we're going to summon Kit and then any uh, Scarecrow that we want. I like going for Acro because just having access to the guy that makes my stuff really big I think is fine. They all, they're all kind of okay. You could summon whatever you want. Acro is just uh, my personal preference. Uh, then we link that into Lightheart. Lightheart effect to search the planet. Um, there it is. And then we will activate planet. So this is where uh, it can switch depending on the matchup. If you're against tier, you want to go down the Dweller line. If you're against anything else, uh, you want to go for Vsauce instead. So it's either uh, Rykart or Vsauce. Uh, but just because uh, summoning Barone's a little more flashy, uh, we will go for Vsauce. So we will add the Starfrost. We will activate Starfrost targeting Lightheart. So it's going to destroy that, summon himself. Uh, Lightheart comes back because Starfrost is on field. Uh, that once per duel effect is gone now. It's you're only ever really using it once per duel anyway, but it's just important to, to remember that it's once per duel, not once per turn. Uh, he's gonna go here. You gotta your zone placement's kind of gotta be a little weird in this deck. Uh, so we will make fair G. Kit will trigger, sending Nerval, and then Kit will not Kit. Nerval will add Fractal. Then we will use Fair G's effect to summon a level four lower tri type from here, summoning Fractal. Uh, fractal activate effect, banishing Kit and Nerval. Uh, you prefer to keep Acro on Grave, you could also banish like a cat or something. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, but then we're going to summon Bear Broom. And then we have a level 6 tuner, level 4 non tuner. Let's Synchro 10 into Barone de Fleur in Tri Brigade. I still can't believe that we get to do this. Uh, and then we link to, I'm sorry, link 4 into Apollosa. Uh, that's an Apple for 2. So. Uh, chain links, we have chain link one fair G, chain link two bear Brum. Uh, we activate the fair G because we have more cards in hand and we'd like to dig. Uh, so we will add the revolt, place the blank card on bottom. If all we have is the uh, other card in hand, like if you draw a, a cat later, we still activate this just because, um, like, yeah, we don't want to draw a cat for turn. Put them on bottom. Uh, but yeah, that is the board. Now, notably, this gets super poly. This gets super polyed really hard. There are ways, like you could search Keros instead and um, summon the Keros of Fair G, and then instead of Barone, you make Savage and then Savage equips the Lightheart. Um, that's if you respect super poly game one. Uh, games two and three, because super poly is seeing a little bit of play in like Despia or stuff like that. I think it's probably worth it to summon it, just summon a Savage, I mean, but I prefer Baron game one just because Baron's better. Um, but just important to keep in mind that these two can get super polite to Mud Dragon. Uh, so that is the, uh, the cat combo. Now let's just do some actual, just good old fashioned test scans. Um, if we draw a cat again, I will be going down the, um, the rank four line, which involves you searching your, um, your right heart instead of the Starfrost. So we just go back, 
and then we draw five. I'll just do a couple of these because a lot of the hands kind of feel the same because uh, you aren't always drawing Scareclaws and you aren't always drawing Trabrigades. They all kind of do similar things. So we drew Keras, Nurble, Tenki, Planet, Imperm. So this kind of shows what I mean where you don't really want to lead with uh, Planet, but just having Planet with full Trabrigade combo still lets you make Baron. Who will shade on me? So we will activate Tenki and it's going to search, of course, the one and only Fractal. Not Keras as well. <laughs> uh, activate Fractal, that's gonna send Kit. You're almost always sending Kit because you want names engraved immediately. Um, and Kit sends Nerval, Nerval will add. We already have Nerval and we already have Paris, so we're actually gonna go for another Fractal. Um, and we're gonna see here, I'm probably gonna stutter a little bit more with my plays because I'm still a little unfamiliar with where I wanna go with this deck. Um, I apologize for that, but again, like I said, I just want to get this out because this is like a really cool idea I've had. I've had a ton of fun in the playing this deck. I always like sharing decks I have fun playing. Uh, but yeah, so we will... Ooh, we can actually go a couple different ways. Yeah, you know what? We're going to get fun. We're going to actually... We're going to activate Planet here. Planet will search for Rykard. And then because we drew a name plus Keras... We are actually going to use Keras, discarding the other Nerval to summon himself. Uh, Keras will banish four to summon Shurag. I don't recommend always doing this, but we can get a little bit more aggressive here. We can actually make Dweller from this position with the board, and I like taking advantage of that. So then we're going to link off the Shurag and the Keras into Fairji. Uh, Shurag triggers. We have four... Uh, tri Spanish, banished, so we get to search a little four or lower. We're going to add one of the Scare Claws. It doesn't matter which one. So we're going to add Astra. Uh, Fairy to summon one from hand. We will special Astra. Uh, and then, because we control a Scare Claw, we're going to summon Rykart. Rykart will trigger his effect to add... You can kind of go for whatever. This is just going to be putback material for our... Um, for our Bear Brim. Uh, so we could... We could add Twin Saw here. I think just having access to that's cool. And uh, get ready for this. We haven't Normal Summoned yet. We used Keras Discard to put the fourth name in Grave. So we're going to Normal Summon Fractal. Fractal Banish 2. Uh, that's going to summon the Bear Brim. We're going to seize these two into, um, again, whatever rank 4 you want. Dweller is typically getting made blind over Baguska, so we'll just do that. So we make Dweller, and then we link for an Echo for 3. This does not get super quiet as well, so it's important to... Keep that in mind. So on summon, chain link one fair G, chain link two bear brum. The twin saw, you could have searched a uh, rival as well. I just went for twin saw because I it it doesn't matter. It's just getting put to the bottom of the deck. So we're gonna add revolt. Twin saw is going to the bottom. Um and the reason we put twins on the bottom, not only do we not have the name, but also we only have two targets for Rykart, and we want to keep those in deck until we absolutely need them, just so we can always go plus. So we put on the bottom, draw Starfrost is pretty cool, but doesn't really do anything for us at the moment, so we'll just keep the Imperm, put the Starfrost back on bottom. And then we get to set two. Uh, Apro, Revolt, Dweller, Imperm is pretty solid. Uh, yeah. So let's do one or two more test hands. I'd like to show the other kit line. If the next two hands don't produce that, then I will just uh, pull out a Rescue Cat and then one extra card which will let me showcase the, um, I can showcase the Savage line, I can showcase the uh, other rank four line just off of Cat. Because from there we had to do a little bit more weird, but um, Trapegate can extend, so we like taking advantage of that. Test hand number two or three, I don't know. Oh, cool, we drew the Cat. Let's show you the uh, rank four line, shall we? So, normal Cat, Cat effects. Summon, um, yeah, summon Baloney this time. He's pretty cool. <laughs> I know it's Bologna, but Baloney is funny. Shout out Crush Cards for getting that in my head. I can't get it out now. Um, so then we link for the Lightheart. We want that there. Uh, Lightheart effect. Gonna search Planet. Planet effect. We're gonna search Brightheart this time. Um, so... Because we also drew an additional Scareclaw in Astra, we can just resolve the Engage effect of that card. So let's do that. Uh, so we're going to summon Astra. 
and then summon Rykart. Rykart's gonna trigger. I think because I drew the extra name, I actually wanna go for Twin Saw and then go for it this hand. Uh, because having Blackout on top of everything else is actually really insane. Uh, I'm just calling it Blackout because that's what it is. You're rarely actually getting the banish effect of it. But Blackout Revolt, when you already have your opponent wanting to negate your monster effects instead of dealing with your back row, is such an interesting way to switch it up. Um, and I think being able to be diverse with your interaction like that is really good. So that's the add, what's the draw? Another Imperm, it's free. It's just completely free at this point. Um, okay. So we link off the White Heart and the Kit. Or Fair G. Kit to send. Nerval to add. Add Fractal. We just have six cards in hand. That's that's how it feels resolving the uh, the engage bonus effect of Reichhardt because uh, engage is still at one for a reason. Let's just say that. Uh, send fair G effect to special special fractal fractal banishing kit Nerval gonna summon Verbrum. Uh, exceeds these two into again whatever rank four you want. Uh, I prefer to go for Dweller blind like I said. And then we just link four into Apollosa. Uh, chain link one Bearbrim. No, chain link one Fairy G, chain link two Bearbrim. Because we want to draw one, put one back. Uh, we drew a Volt. We can't do that. Okay. Uh, just chain link one Fairy G. What do we draw? Cool. Another planet to follow up. By all means, I'll take that. Uh, so yeah, we just set one. Uh, leading with planet on the crackback, because we already have one of the bad ones in grave is fine because that still gets almost all the way to um that i mean that gets you two materials on board it can also search for vsauce to make a baron in the grind game which is really really good but uh yeah we have our combo board and then we have three trap cards in the back row so yeah rescue cat's really good uh i'll do exactly one more test hand for y'all because i want to just show there's a little bit of variance in the hands um, it's not always this. It, it's hyper consistent, but in different ways. The scare claws, if you draw a bunch of those, you just put up a different kind of board. I might have to showcase that in a later video. Because this, like Punk, is a deck that I can just make a decent length of video of just test hands on. It doesn't have as many divulging lines. I mean, diverging, that's my bad. Um, English is hard. Uh, so, final test hand. What do we got? We are not doing a cat hand, we just did that. Actually, I lied, yes we are. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to play around Super Poly. So, normal the cat. Have you seen this before? Cat effect. Uh, summon acro, summon the kit. Uh, so we do that. Link acro for Lightheart. Lightheart search field spell. Field spell at a scare claw or Vsauce. We're going for Vsauce. Michael here. Uh, Vsauce target Lightheart. Lightheart summon back. Link. We're not going to extend with the Balone here. Uh, we could, but it doesn't really get us anything because we don't have um, we don't have Rykart access. Um, that's my issue. Is that I don't guarantee to have access to both Starfrost and Rykart. If I did, it'd be so so good. But it's fine. Uh, kid effect sends. Normal to add. We will actually go for a second. We already we already have the second kit. That's fine. Um, if, if you want to make Savage, you would go for the second kit, but because we already have that, we're just gonna go for Fractal. Uh, Fair G will summon one from hand. Summon kit. Kit banish two. Bear your kit and the Nerval. That's just what you do. Uh, make Bear Brum and then Synchro Eight for Savage. Uh, Savage equips the Lightheart. Uh, I'd prefer to do this after linking off the Bear Brum, but after you use Bear Brum's effect, your Tri Brigade locks, so you can't really do that, which is unfortunate. Um, so it's just one negate, but it's fine. It's not like the end of the world. Um, but you do this to play around Super Poly. Um, if that's the type of deck your opponent's playing. So then we make Apollosa for two. Uh, we know what it is at this point. Chain Link 1 Fair G, Chain Link 2 Bear Brum. We don't really want Rescue Cat post turn one, because it's cool, but it's much more likely to just get negated and you'd rather have a Scareclaw or a Tri Brigade on board. So we will add Revolt and we will put the um, a Cat on bottom. And we will draw one. Tanky is pretty alright. And then put Crackle on bottom. Um, and importantly as well, 
uh, I believe it was last hand that we saw I had two monsters in main, the main monster zone. Almost always the Fergie is like actually Link Summon. So in other Tribrigade variants, you had the issue of, oh, I have to summon back four of the Littles to make sure, I, otherwise I can't. You almost always have one of your Link 2s that was actually Link Summon. So you can actually have two other monsters in your main monster zone and then just be able to Revolt into Shirai for free. But, um, yeah, I mean, Revolt, Savage, Apollosa with a Magnum Mutton Hand seems pretty damn good to me. So, that does it for this deck profile. Super, super excited to see what you guys think of it. Let me know what you want in the comments. Um, I have a couple interesting decks to post Hyper Nova I plan on making profiles for. Uh, Evil Eye is at the top of that list, so that's probably the next thing y'all can look forward to. But, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure to like. If you want to see more from me, please make sure to subscribe. It's your boy, Pate. I'm still feeling great, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.